So you wanna know how a CEO travels? Let me show you. or a few five second clips bashed together with some awesome music. I mean, that was cool, right? Okay, but this is the reality. This week, we have to go to the Middle East. We're going to Abu Dhabi and we're going to Dubai. What is up with this like one calf showing? Dude, my left leg is so hot. Okay, so we're outside the gate right now. In like 10 minutes, we start boarding to fly to Abu Dhabi. It's 12 and a half hour flight. We basically fly all night long and we land at 7 p.m. the next day. So we lose a whole day. I'm talking. I'm literally vlogging right now. It's a nonstop itinerary. So I'm giving a keynote speech to 1,500 people. We have to go and run and do property tours in Dubai. And I've got nonstop meetings. And if we get a moment, maybe we like go dune bugging down the desert or something. I don't know. We could go totally crazy. I'm going to take Diego and I'm just going to like strip him down and like have him run around. Don't ever point the camera at yourself in my vlog. Bye. What is this trip? Aldar is a massive developer. They're the number one developer of property and many things in Abu Dhabi. Great people, huge company, super cool. And so they brought me and Gary V out for a big conference. We got a lot going on, surfing at speed. We don't have time to waste. Everyone's like, oh, you're going to the Middle East. You should stop by here, you should stop oh. by there, you should stop by here. I'm a CEO. I don't you need time to stop. I'm, I'm fully booked. Keynote speech first thing this morning. We got Q and A photos, then we gotta run to Dubai, wake up tomorrow morning, investor meetings, client meetings, run around. If we have any time, maybe we'll run through the sand just a little bit, get back on the plane, fly back to New York, full day work. Sirhan, speed. Oh, is this it? Okay. Oh, that's where we're going. <laughs> it's a fucking full arena. And these are 2,000 salespeople that have never seen me live before. Most are based in the UAE, but a lot of people are also traveling in from around that part of the world. So it's an amazing opportunity for me to brand and expand in that part of the world. And to walk out on stage and like the movie was playing about me and then my name was like in lights, like wrapping around the arena. It was totally, totally crazy. And they introduced me and I went out there and it's the biggest audience I've ever spoken to in person. One of the most successful and well-known real estate brokers in the world. Let's make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome. I am so pumped right now. I am so jet lagged at the same time, but I'm also super excited. I love this place. I was a real estate broker from 2008 until 2020, and then COVID shut the world down. And at that exact moment, I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? You know, it's a great idea. New York City shut down, police in the streets, Buildings were boarded up, you couldn't move. I'm gonna blow up my whole life. I had a massive sales team, everything was great. I had a TV show, actually I had three TV shows. I was about to put out my second book, my life was fine, I had just built this big house for myself, everything was awesome. And I realized, you know what? I have to live with better intention. And so I decided to blow up my whole life completely and start my own company like a lunatic. But I had one intention, which was to build something much, much bigger for myself and to use the audience that I created. I'm going to turn this audience into my community. I'm going to take people I don't know, like people in this room right now, 
and I'm going to make every single person a friend. And I'm going to build a real estate business for the future. I'm going to build Brokerage 3.0. You all get to sell real estate every day. Life could be worse. Things are awesome. Enjoy it. Live with intention. And thank you so much for being here. And then we went back to our green room and it was time for selfies. It was madness. There you go. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Hey. Hey. It's okay. Thank you. Let's really do Okay, once you get photos, hold on, hold on. Guys, guys, guys. Hold on. Come up here like this. Please, thank you. Security started getting nervous because it's like a public arena. Security came in and was like, no, we've had a breach. Sir, we need to get you out of here. Got it. We have to leave. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay, sorry guys. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they grabbed my arms and were like escorting me out. I was like, no, I need to take selfies. And people started running after me. Yeah. I'll hit everybody. Oh, bro, wait, excuse me. One second. Thank you. It was the craziest thing I've ever experienced. People typically like don't come after me like that. It was wild. It was super cool. Wow, a little scary for like a second. Then went back, said hey to Gary. How are you? Good, man. How was it? Good. How's Great. the crowd? Good, Good crowd. Yeah. Big. Oh, he's lost oh. weight. Really? Yeah, I see. Oh, Ryan, did I lose weight? Well, crush it. I'll see you. Good see you. Take care of yourself. Say hello, did our thing. He's very excited to meet Diego. Who's the crew here? This guy's Diego. How's it going? I'm Diego. Gary loves a good Diego. Straight then from Gary V. Then I met the CEO. Then I met Nick Candy, the you know super successful real estate guy from London. And we went right into the car to drive an hour and change to Dubai to meet Iman Ghazi and do a house tour with him. We're going to see Iman Ghazi. Because I would be 14 years old and I'd be watching Million Dollar Listing and then I'd be. Here's some of my collection. Jake Paul was here. So he was my neighbor for like a month. This place is crazy. Just did his house tour. Can't tell you where it is. We've got to drop soon. Get ready. And I am mixing up CEO, real estate broker, real estate personality, keynote speaker, content creator and putting it all together on one big old plate on each trip that I go to, right? I'm never going anywhere and just doing one thing. If I'm gonna go anywhere, I'm gonna do all 10 things that I do because I'm ABB, always be branding. Do it in graphics. ABB, always be branding. No one will ever buy anything from you if they don't know what you're selling. Next morning, wake up, and it's all about touring Aldar properties. And this real estate in Abu Dhabi is insane. Really, really pretty stuff. And like well-priced, not cheap by any means, but not like 50 million a house the way some people might think based on how wealthy the Middle East is. What's so crazy about that market, as I'm talking to all the agents and everything, it sells out so fast. So Aldar just took down all of this. Yes. And you're gonna build on it. Man. But, you know, it's wild that it's still here, just as sand. I know, it gets sold in a day. And if the developer's the development's really big, it'll take a week. Really? Wow, I don't know what that kind of life is like. You put these projects on the market and it's like, boom, gone in weeks. The sales centers are massive. They're huge. Like this one sales center we went to, like the whole model city that they built with little lights and videos and like miniature billboards and everything. It was crazy. I've heard of sales centers that are like that in other cities, but in New York, you know, our sales centers for projects are like in my office downstairs or like on your phone, or we do it in a trailer. Now this trip was all about Sirhan speed was moving as fast as possible because we only had so much time on the ground in the UAE. And would it really be a Sirhan speed trip in Abu Dhabi without bashing some sand dunes?
not a normal day in the office. We are driving through the sand dunes right now outside Abu Dhabi in the UAE. And I normally don't do this stuff, especially on a weekday. Hold on, Cliff. But when you come this far, you gotta experience the culture and the energy and the sand. The easiest thing to do is be able to finish the work day, go back to the room and do what? Like emails, hang out. We have to experience a little bit of life. Hold on, falling backwards. When in doubt, go faster. That's how you survive out here. When in doubt, speed. Good job. We're alive, we're breathing. Work hard, play hard. This trip was work hard 95 and then play for 5% of the trip in the hour and a half that we had left with sunlight to go in the cars and go down the sand dunes and then go dune boarding and everything and Diego totally wiped out. Do you have that video? Oh my unbelievable fail. I didn't wipe out that way. Oh, here we go. Ah! Nine. <laughs> All right, this is a little bit of a crotch shot, but this is the end of the vlog. We're sitting on top of this dune, we're about to go have some food, but this has been a worldwide Sirhant speed trip. And now here we are, get on a plane first thing tomorrow morning, back to New York, back to work, back to meetings. That is Sirhant speed. But first, we're gonna take a minute to go Sirhant slow in some Sirhant sand. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Send this to anyone that you think would love days in my life. We'll be back in New York soon. Let's go.